now you won't be able to see my new look. What new look? When I'm being put together for me. It took me a whole week. I had to read a lot of magazines. Here's the hair. Oh, great hair. And look at this dress. Fabulous. Check out these shoes. <laughs> Wait a second. This is an after dishwashing detergent. Yeah, but look at the shoes the model's wearing. Oh, you're right. They're all perfect with the hair and the dress. I know. <laughs> I'm going to be a fashion consultant when I grow up. What are you doing? Oh, well, I thought I'd smoke a cigarette. Do you want one? No. Janet? No, thanks. Okay. Althea, I don't think you should smoke in here. Well, why not? Because my parents won't like it. But they're not here. My older brother is. Don't worry. He'll never know. That, a smoke eater, it absorbs smoke. And what the smoke eater doesn't get, this will. Ooh. How long have you been smoking? Only a couple of days. I can't inhale yet, but I love the way it makes me look. <laughs> you really don't look that different. Well, I feel different. Well, Althea, don't like that. Why not? Well, because I don't want you smoking in here. You're infringing on my right not to get in trouble. <laughs> I have the right to be in my house, in my room, and not be in trouble. I wouldn't go over your house and get you in trouble without your permission. Nessa, don't worry. You're not going to get in trouble. Nobody's going to know. Are you sure? Look, I'll tell you what. I'll just take a couple of puffs, and then I'll put it out. Well, they have to be tiny, tiny puffs, and you have to blow the smoke directly into this thing. That's right, immediately afterwards. Dr. Huxtable. Yes, sir. You didn't believe the patient when she came in. Mm -hmm. And she's yours. Really? Oh, I had trouble convincing her and her husband to go into the birthing room. Uh -huh. They insisted on handing out gifts to all of the staff. Uh -huh. This one's for you. Mmm, uh -huh. <laughs> banana bread. Mr. and Mrs. Schrader. All uh, right. And that lady and her husband seem to be friends with everybody that works here. Well, if you come here eight times, I guess you would have a lot of friends. <laughs> she has eight children? Nine. Last time she had twins. This is a fun couple. Come on. <laughs> Three of diamonds. You need it? Yeah. Mm. Right on schedule. Cap Trader. Bye, uh, Doctor. Every five minutes. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dr. Which one should I discard? Oh. I thought you were supposed to call me. We called your house, but Rudy said you were already here, so we thought I'd just show up. Oh, I like that new furniture in the downstairs lobby. Yeah, we try to change the furniture around for our regular customers, keep them from getting bored. <laughs> Every five minutes? Yeah, we got plenty of time, Dr. Huxley. Why don't you sit down, pass the banana bread? Thank you very much. Uh, Nancy, will you go over and check on Mrs. Gregory, please? I'm sorry, we'll Dr. Huxley. And I'll be over in a minute to check on her father. Very good, Dr. I like her. Yeah, she's a good nurse. I have a feeling Dr. Eckert likes her, too. Oh, really? Is that true, Dr. Eckert? Well, she's very efficient. Good answer. <laughs> I have pretty good instincts about these things. You better pay attention to her instincts. Nine children. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't be discussing this. I, I agree. I agree. I agree. Stop picking on Dr. Eckert. Okay, everybody agree on that? Okay. okay. Fine. All right. Fine. So when are you going to ask her out? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Aren't you coming for Dr. Bichette? Sure. Then you have another patient. Working room number three. You have three patients delivering at the same time? Sure, I can handle that. Don't worry about us. If you get too busy, we'll do this one ourselves. All right. Just make sure you send me the check, okay? <laughs> <laughs>